Oh, well, this morning we are starting off with some cloudy conditions. We've had some flurries this morning. Overall, though, not too bad out there. This is what it looks like outside of the studio here just shortly before 9 o'clock. American flag blowing, but certainly not as gusty of winds that we had yesterday. Some wind gusts were over 25 miles per hour yesterday. Every now and then there's a few flurries that show up on the camera. A Storm Team 27 Viper Radar arrived. The sensitivity turned up really high here. Just a few flurries uh, before 9 o'clock this morning, and they should start to go away later on. Temperatures are in the upper 20s to right about 30 degrees, so grab a jacket as you're heading out the door. The wind every now and then can make it feel like it's in the low 20s out there, so you definitely need the jacket. Now, this high-pressure system, which is uh, continuing to push towards our area, will help to uh, clear out some of those clouds as we head uh, throughout the day today, and by the afternoon, I think we'll actually see a good amount of sunshine. So for your Valentine's Day, 38 degrees, no significant chance of precipitation, and then uh, those uh, skies kind of clearing there as we head towards the afternoon. Winds around uh, northwest around 5 to 10 miles per hour there. Now, uh, the future tracker shows as we progress here uh, throughout the afternoon. Uh, high temperatures in the mid to upper 30s. The sky's clearing there uh, later today. Now, later on tonight, we will see those temperatures uh, for a time drop into the low to mid 20s because of the clearing of the skies. However, clouds begin to increase by tomorrow morning. There is a very small chance in the morning of a rain uh, or a light rain or snow shower with temperatures in the upper 20s to right around 30 degrees. But watch these temperatures really increase out ahead of the storm system. It's because we're going to have some pretty strong strong winds here uh, bring those uh, uh, temperatures up into the low 50s and then we will have this cold front kind of uh, drift through the valley here bringing us the chances of some rain showers that cold front will drop temperatures significantly there uh, by uh, tomorrow night dropping them back down into the low to mid 30s with the chances there of some rain and snow showers. Maybe a light coating from that as well. But by far the biggest impact from this storm system uh, will be these future wind gusts here, which will be up uh, as high as 40 miles per hour tomorrow afternoon. So this storm system, it's not going to have a lot of precipitation with it, but it will have some gusty winds, and that combined with the rain could uh, make for some uh, significant issue or is some treacherous road conditions there as we head uh, throughout the day uh, there. So uh, the seven-day outlook, breezy, chance of afternoon rain showers, 49 nine degrees there Thursday. Chances of rain and snow showers changing to some snow showers by Friday morning. A light coating is possible, mostly cloudy there. Snow showers likely Friday night and into Saturday. There could be uh, some light accumulations from that as well. Saturday will be cold with a high temperature there around 30 degrees. And then eventually we will start to see those temperatures warm up some as we head into the beginning of next week.